Hello everybody, this is the North Face Cup Finals in Japan. It's one of the biggest and one of the hardest, most elite level competitions. We have both Tomoe Narasaki and Meiji Narasaki in here as well as well as other top boulderers. So this is the best time to see whether Meiji and Tomoe Narasaki are in form for the IFSC World Cup circuit coming coming very very soon. Starting first, this is the men's one <laughs> already into like a almost slightly pogo crimp move. Ooh, okay, that's really bad feet. I don't know how you're supposed to move on. They're following you by color, so they're not following by uh, the usual competition um, rules and format. But that cream, oh, that cream's barely, I would barely say that's barely half a pad. Half a pad at most. Um, but he only has three seconds left to grab the zone, and I don't think he, he has it. But I think this is a buzzer beater format, so he's allowed to climb. Um, and But this is his final attempt. Yeah, but if he falls off, then that's when he has to stop. Alright, this is Tomoe Narasaki coming in. Let's see if he can complete this. He is... Oh, first attempt. Uh, maybe a bit too powerful to the crimp. You're too powerful, you're too high on the crimp, not being able to get that nice lever down. So he wants to make sure that, he, yes, he controls that a little bit. Smooth sailing. Let's see if we can figure out this slight like, pogo move. Oh my goodness! So a master of his craft. He is. He is so good at this kind of movement. Oh my god, that was clean. Uh, so much time left on the clock. This first attempt on that pogo move. Incredible. Let's watch that again. Okay, he comes up here. He holds the sloper a little bit low. Oh yes, he comes out matches before coming in. Oh, that is so cool. How does he do that every single time? Oh. I think I personally like this format because uh, it gets the competition moving faster. And 4 minutes is just a little bit long. Um, but I prefer like, let's say maybe 3 minutes but no buzzer visa. There might not be enough time actually. Um, so... You know, it really depends on your taste, I guess. But I, I would prefer like some competitions to move a little bit quicker, actually. Just, oh my god, that crimp is even worse than I thought. Do you have that crimp in your gym? That's like a Technic crimp uh, by Technic Handholds. Uh, I have similar similar handles in my gym because my arrow set is like Technic. And that is really tough. Normally that jib is on like a volume where you can pinch or you can, you know, leverage the volume angle. But that's just on the flat bare wall of a at least 10 degree overhung wall. Oh, there is a slight jib inside there. Okay. That's a very interesting... Uh, piece of root setting. Let's see if Meiji Narasaki can figure it out. Yeah, so this is kind of an awkward jump because there's like a little pogo, but you're pogoing off like slopers. You don't have very good feet. If you have better feet, um, the pogo works. But if you're trying to pogo off like a sloper, it's disgusting. Especially a sloper, if that's kind of positioned away from the direction of the handhold. Oh, this is subtly really difficult. Like, I think if you're not a climber, you will not appreciate how difficult that is. Chon Jong Wong from Korea is here, so slightly uh, international um, participation, which is great to see. It's great to see him in the finals, especially at the, I would say this is like a first class competition, uh, considering the level of uh, climbing that <laughs> these guys are doing. Oh, interesting idea. He's trying to swing bring his left leg out and then match first but that almost seems like it gives him too much rotation he's trying to bleed out the clock a little bit because he wants to go for his um, buzzer beater attempt but let's see if he can do it oh he might be able just in time to do uh, one attempt and then a second one quickly but I don't think so I think he's really going for it this is his last attempt come on John oh well, yeah, does he have time yeah he has one more attempt um, and then he has to execute it this time. So this is the buzzer beater format. Um, the time is done. Oh no, he slips. Oh. All right, we have our next climber out. Let's see if he can figure it. Wow, it looks really strong. <laughs> okay. Oh, he can hold the position quite well. Wow. Okay. All right, down to his final attempt. Can he make it though? Matches. Oh. Sheesh, come on, brother. Yeah, at this point, uh, you should be able to talk quite easily. 
There we go. So during this final attempt, watch how he matches, but he brings out his left hip a little bit out first before he goes in. There we go. So that gives him the space to go into the wall instead of starting inside and when you move left, going out. So a little subtle movement there. All right, this is Furikata. Let's see if he can stick it. Oh! That reminds me of Yanya Gumbert style, holding it oh, a little bit precarious with the right foot. He should be able to pinch it nicely. And there we go. Alright, this is the second boulder. This is men's 2. Tomorrow Narasaki is in here. I think he put some liquid chalk, so he's uh, <laughs> he's airing out his hands. And this is the toe hook. There we go. He finally starts. Oh my goodness, what are you supposed to do? No way you can do that, right? Isn't that humanly impossible? There's nothing there. How do you guess on that? No way, I'm pretty sure there's a different method to this. What? What are you... I can't understand what this boulder... What are you supposed to... How are you supposed to get stable after the double toe hook? Oh, hopefully these guys can figure it out. He seems to be brushing it. I think Tomoa did try to maybe tank it and just... Uh, hang off the the hands but the angle of that is not forgiving at all especially if you're swinging from, from the from the other direction with your whole weight with your two two toes so um he has to find a way to maybe kill the swing or maybe like we're missing something feels like he needs to climb down or a hold the previous hold. Oh, okay, yeah. So he kills the swing by releasing one foot first. Yes. So this is the pressy Gaston movement. I was, I was thinking about. Oh, okay. This box should favor tomorrow Narasaki and. Oh, he makes it work so easy. At first, you <laughs> see what seems impossible. Now, it's so clear once you see the master of his craft climb this. What a champ, John Wan Chong. Oh, okay, yeah, so he has to kind of figure out how to release those toes. So the thing with those toes is that they make, make you have shift your body all, all the way to the left. And when you cut feet, you know, your body, it creates a bigger swing, a bigger momentum, especially if you're taller. It creates a huge momentum that is very hard to kill, very hard to control and manage. So Chon Jongwon is one of the taller climbers. Let's see how he is able to kill this. Tomon Narasaki cut his feet first yeah that's the way so you take off one foot first that brings your center of mass slightly more to the right so that you can hold the left um, foot uh, swings a lot more uh, manageably because your center of gravity is more in line with your head and your hands um, doesn't seem so comfortable with the press here I think he's oh ho, ho, ho. <laughs> just as I say that he just pops out and leaps into the jug that's not even a real jug, but whatever, he, uh, these guys are so strong, these are jugs, those are jugs to them. Okay, this is a slightly shorter climber, let's see how he uh, figures out this, uh, this start. He this does seem to be struggling with the initial starting position. Come on! Come on! Oh, he just doesn't seem to be able to get the right momentum. I think his hands are not in the right position as well. Oh, no. The technique is to sink your right hip, yeah! There we go, that's a lot better. So just sink your right hip into the wall. That gives you a better angle for the toes. But let's see how he figures this out. His right foot is... Oh my goodness, what? He... <laughs> what is that? How do you do that? Come on, come on. Ali, Ali, Ali. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's switching to an undercling. He's gonna power through. Oh, he barely touches the top. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> That was, that was so close, so cool. How did he hold that underclean? We need to watch that again. So instead of sticking his right foot out to us to kill the swing, he shuffles his right hand to this underclean position. Oh my god, it controls the rotation. Oh my god, that's this. Oh, he goes for this guy's on with the three fingers as well. No hesitation, pure power. And the click, his, his right foot is even in, it's not even in the right position, he still powers through it like a, oh my god, that's literally pure strength, pure power. It's crazy bouldering. Alright, so three competitors left. Um, let's see if they can figure it out. Stop up is Tomo Narasaki, now this is kind of his, uh, you know, his process. He turns around, he starts immediately brushing holes. 
and making making sure he understands every movement before he starts. Ooh, that jump doesn't seem uh, <laughs> too easy. Looks like he has to control that a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna. Okay, okay, <laughs> control, I guess. Um, wow, okay, moving into this pinch here, this pinch on oh, the really steep overhang, that's basically almost 90 degrees. These guys are so strong, coming in for the toe, is it quite a high crimp, needs to bump his right hand. Oh my god, too strong, Tsuyo Sugi, too strong to Monarasaki. Oh my god, he's basically unstoppable. How good is that, guys? John Jamon from Korea, he didn't have a very good uh, bowling season. Uh, two years ago. Last year he did quite okay at the start, but towards the end he kind of faded off. So let's see if he can keep his form. Chon John Wong is one of those climbers that he's extremely strong, he's very experienced, but he just doesn't seem to be able to find the consistency and the um, mental fortitude to last throughout a whole World Cup series or a whole competition season. So we need to see Chon John Wong really execute and be consistent. I think that is the key to his success in terms of climbing competitions. He doesn't have many years left in his climbing to be able to compete at the highest level, especially with such strong young climbers coming out into the scenes, especially in America. So he really needs to be able to you know, take his experience, uh, be able to harness that, uh, believe in his climbing, believe in his strength, and work on his consistency. I think if he does that, John John Wong could be a, a World Cup contender you know, a consistent and regular finalist and maybe pick up a couple of medals, maybe he even have a chance at a couple of golds. Um, but he's a bit quite far away from that. He needs to be able to assess how he can, you know, maintain a good form. And that's what he has been talking about on Instagram quite a lot. So Chon Jong Wong coming in here, trying to catch this jug. That's a little bit more of a traditional uh, tank style. He has a subtle left hook under there to kind of like position himself nicely. Gets the flip. Okay, let's see if he can reach up to his crimp nicely. He looks like okay, very strong, nice and stable. Is he able to flip to the top? Oh, look at the strength of Chon Jong Wong. Look at how stable and... Even though he's moving dynamically, he looks super in control with his muscles all engaged. It's how strong he can be. And he is definitely a contender, but can he be consistent? We have to see. Okay, our last climber for this boulder. Ooh, this is tricky to stick the jar actually. It's tricky because it's so steep and you're coming off from a press. So, quite droppable even though it is quite juggy. This is almost like a 80 degree, 90 degree <laughs> overhang. So, very, very um, overhung. But after that, they seem to be able to match the top quite nicely and oh, no problem for them. No problem for these guys. Alright, we're moving on to one of the final boulders of today. So Manarasaki starting off with his usual brushing to make sure he kind of feels the holes before actually touching them first. This is quite a pockety, crimpy kind of climbing, climbing route, which is nice to see. Oh my goodness, a pocket Gaston. Oh, okay, this is so cool. Coming up to the underclean, we need to re-bump up again. This is a really cool piece of root setting here. I appreciate this old style. Do you like this old style of climbing? Hit that like button below. It's really nice to see this once in a while. Oh my god, it's just so good. So strong, even showboating at the end. I just can't believe how strong these climbers are. That is not an easy move to do, especially that Gaston. John Wong here. He has to be able to execute this. This isn't his forte, this style. Um, and then cut loose into pockets is not his thing. He likes more strengthy, uh, wrestly, compression kind of boulders. Um, but let's see if he can figure it out because he likes the moonboarding and this shouldn't be too difficult for him. It's not his perfect style, but I think he should be able to figure out. Oh my goodness, how did tomorrow flash this? Oh. I thought it was a kind of a like an in-cut or juggy pocket. No, that is tough and that's so small. The left hand is a little bit precarious. It doesn't seem to be the worst. Looks stable enough. It's just how he wants to attack this pocket. Oh, it's just two fingers he wants to stable it. Oh, he's able to stabilize, get this toe hook. Oh, okay. Under cling pinch, he's switching to a heel to get a little bit more leverage. 
That's nice. Okay, now there's the bump. No! <laughs> oh, bumping from there into the pocket again. And you can't really see it very well because one, it's on the other side of the volume. Two, we have the spotlight shining from a certain angle <laughs> against your eyes. So it's very unforgiving. I don't uh, you know, making sure he has the best chance. Last goal, best goal. He wants to reserve his strength and his fingers. Um, I just don't really want him to get injured, to be honest. This is quite... Oh my goodness, you can see him like kind of aim with his two fingers as he was going to the right. Oh my god, did you see that? He's trying to like... <laughs> look for the hole. Okay, John, you need to be able to... Come on! Oh yes, he gets it! Come on, brother! Tomorrow I can make this section look really easy. I don't think it's actually easy because it's oh how did Tomorrow do it so easily? Oh my goodness. Well done, Chon Jong Won. That was a great fight. Alright. Third climber out. Alright, smooth into the crib. Pretty okay. Let's see if you can stick the bucket. Oh, he seems to be swinging out a little bit too much. Yeah. But uh, I think you're probably more accurate with the middle finger, but yeah, it's it's not the usual fingers you, you, you would use for pocket. Yeah, so this left hand is pretty okay, but you don't have the best feet in the world, so... Oh! He finds a static way! Sick! Okay! Yo! How did he do that? I think he put his right foot on the dual text on that jib, on that first volume, that's super cool. Uh, I think tomorrow Narasaki um, didn't go for the pocket straight away. He kind of cast the whole pocket hole in, in its entirety with his hands first. Um, that could be the smarter way to do it because it doesn't seem too bad to clasp it like that. Of course, you want to ideally bump into the pocket again so that you have some leverage and you can kind of dig your fingers in. Um, but yeah, it, see, it seems like it's on the edge of this uh, volume, so you could kind of clasp it, maybe add some thumb action there. I think that's what tomorrow did. Yeah, it definitely looks doable to clasp it, if, instead of flipping into the pocket where you can't see. So, yeah, this sh that shows, you know, it, we, we can't appreciate how strong tomorrow is until we see, you know, a, a reference of other climbers climbing it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, the way he does it is amazing. Oh, um, let's see if he can figure it out. This guy, Chon Jomon did a heel here to secure this position. He doesn't need to. Oh, he, oh, he stacks the pocket. Come on. He tries to secure his good feet. Oh, no. <laughs> He just slipped off the right foot. Yeah, he tried to secure some fee, but I didn't... I... Uh, tomorrow Sasaki just too strong. Tomorrow Sasaki wins North Face Cup 2023 in Japan.